Oh my gosh. How much fun was that? And guess what? We have another whole day tomorrow of the same stuff and better. But right now, we would like to thank our terrific volunteer crew. We have people out in the pits. We have people out here. This event, which runs like a Swiss watch, I've never seen anything this good, is amazing. And let's have a round of applause for our wonderful volunteers who have made this possible. And thanks to all the teams for your gracious professionalism on and off the field. Keep it up. And now it's time to recognize another group of leaders in our first community, the alumni. Would all of our first alumni please stand up? There's like, there's some of you here, all right, all right. Running the camera here. Thank you for all you do to continue to further the mission of FIRST and inspire the next generation. Finally, for some of you team members, Rapid React may be your final season competing on a FIRST team as a student. Now let's recognize those of you who will soon be FIRST alumni. Would all the students in their final year of high school please stand up, all the seniors. We look forward to seeing you back here next year and seeing what you do as FIRST alumni. Now, we're going to meet our Dean's List finalists. In 2010, the Dean's List Award was created to recognize the leadership and dedication of FIRST most outstanding secondary school students, the FIRST rock stars. Every year, Dean's List semifinalists are selected from each district qualifying event. It is now my honor as your tournament MC to welcome to the field all prior Dean's List Awards winners from Indiana and beyond who will congratulate the six Dean's List semifinalists from the qualifying events. When we call your name, please come down to the field through the opening in the pipe and drape to be recognized. Come down straight through here. We're going to shake all, of the, all these, uh, these previous winners' hands and then go down there and we'll applaud you. Starting off, we have Jana Wilson. I guess we're not shaking hands. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Nice. Kaya Webb. Is she coming? Kaya Webb? Not here. Okay. Luke Fehrenbacher. Brianna Porat. <laughs> Brenna Porat, I'm sorry. Brenna Porat. Audrey Henning. We have Audrey. Is she coming? Oh, there she is. And finally, Trevor Langley. <laughs> we have here. All right. Tomorrow, we will present the, the Dean's List uh, Finalist Award. And, uh, and, that's, and that's who will go on to represent the state of Indiana at the championship. Now we'd like to recognize the mentors for their dedication to the students and the FIRST programs. I guess you guys are, I guess you guys are done. So thank you. Thanks to the Dean's List folks. <laughs> Can I have all the mentors stand up right now, please? If you still have the legs to do it after a competition. This, this is a fun question here. Mentors, think about the number of years you've been in first as a student, alum, or mentor. Now, please remain standing if you've been in first 
for half or more of your life. Anybody still standing? A round of applause for our long-term mentors. I'm, I'm running right up on that, uh, on that halfway mark myself, but that is, that is quite dedication, quite dedicated. We, we really appreciate it. And now it's time to recognize the pinnacle of mentorship at first, our Woody Flowers finalist award winner. To present the award, please welcome our two championship Woody Flower award winners, Andy Baker and Chris Fultz. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, this is a big award, as I always say. Um, but we, we're going to give some special recognition. Uh, two award winners in the past weren't recognized here in the state of Indiana as Indiana State winners for a Woody Flowers finalist award. The first one I want to recognize is Frank Hobart of 2197. Come on out, Frank. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just Frank, just Frank, come on out. He, he won virtually in 2020. That's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah. So Frank. Also, in 2021, we had a winner that didn't get to do this either. That's Amy LaMotta from 4926. Okay. So now, come on out, all the finalist award winners, come on out. Yeah, you might have to let uh, you bend around this way, like right here. We can't watch the camera. We got to be that way of the camera, that way. Okay. All right. So, what's your name? What team are you from? Cheer. Give it all you got. Mike Taylor, 2014, team 3487. Allison Phelps, 1024. Chris Noble, 4580, 3176. Joe Real, 292. Kevin Kelly, 234. Steve Florence from 461. Taylor Fry, 8334. Alan Anderson, Team 45. Jerry Becker, 1675. Debbie May, 1023. Cindy Qualley, 3494. Smith, 1024. Dan Newby, 447. Right here, Rose Hallman. Bill Whiteman, team 135. Jim Langfeld, 135. Mike Kirk, 1720. Evan Hoekstein, team 2470. Chris Elston, 1501. Amy Limata, 4926. Frank Hobart, FRC, 2197. 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I've heard, I've heard a nasty rumor that one of these wonderful mentors, after 25 years, is retiring as a teacher at Penn High School, Jim. I think we should all encourage him to stay involved in some way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-five years of working with you guys and gal. That's great. Thank you, sir. Okay, so now we have nominations for this year's first Indiana Robotics Woody Flowers Finalist Award winners. I'm going to read a lot of names because you guys and gals nominated a whole bunch of wonderful mentors. Some of them are not here. I'm still going to read their name because their team isn't here. But when you hear their name, you're going you're gonna to cheer loudly for your nomination, right? So, Team 45, Christy Edwards. Stand up. You're going to stand up and wave, wave. Yep, that's it. All right. Team 71, Dick Shant Sharma. Team 135, Frank Lockwhite. Team 234, Steve Warner. Team 461, Brad Thompson. Team 829, Craig Harvey. Team 1018, Peter Argo. Team 1024, Dan Phelps. <laughs> Team 1501, Wayne Donges. <laughs> Team 1529, Anthony Stanich. <laughs> Team 1646, Jill Rubacha. Team 1720, Justin Charot. Yeah. Team 1741, Jordan Miller. Yeah. Team 1747, Mike Pierce. Team 2197, Neil Tucholsky. Team 3176, Ben Nelson. <laughs> Team 3494, Ben Cervani. I pronounced that backwards. <laughs> Team 3940, Elizabeth Smith. <laughs> Team 4272, Alexander Henry. Team 5010, Curtis Roseboom. <laughs> Team 5188, Garrett Hart. He's here. Team 5484, Emma Clark. <laughs> Team 6498, Jason Maxwell. Team 6956, Matthew Veldman. Yeah. Team 7198, Pat Yoder. And Team 7617, Meredith Hogan. All right. In the earliest days of FIRST, we were lucky to have a bright light directing us in the right direction. Woody Flowers held that light 
and he often used it like a laser beam to point out the obstacles in front of us. He sometimes used it to clearly illuminate the bigger picture. Woody is no longer with us, but he's sort of standing with us here. But we're fortunate enough to be able to have a lot of his feelings and ideas in videos he made. This one from The Good Stuff. You're likely to be very successful. You will have a nice relationship with society. You will provide stuff that folks like, and in exchange, society will love you. You will feel needed. But you don't want your success to put you inside a success bubble, looking out at what some are calling the useless class. If you want a meaningful and happy life, each of you need to figure out how to pull at least 100 others with you towards success. This is very, very hard. You will need all of the gracious professionalism you can muster to help others get to the good stuff. First Robotics programs stand apart from others in the STEM world due to the first ethos of gracious professionalism, cooperation, and a commitment to the first core values. The guiding force for this first ethos is provided by our mentors. Students have shared evidence of their inspiring Woody Flowers essay of how our first robotics competition mentors, mentors have led their team using their knowledge, dedication, and unwavering gracious support of our youth. This season, the first community was even more grateful for the knowledge and support of our mentors as we return to in-person robot build challenges with many students new to FRC build season. Woody Flowers stated, creative activity is one of the few self-rewarding activities. This year's Rapid React Challenge has the FRC community in a full creative mode. Woody believed that societies get the best of what they celebrate. The Woody Flowers Award celebrates our students by providing them a means to formally recognize their mentor with a WFFA nomination. Students have an opportunity to implement gracious professionalism through high quality work and emphasizing the value of others in their essays. Being recognized by your students make this honor even more meaningful to a mentor. Because this award celebrates Woody's tradition of guiding us with clarity and integrity, it is meaningful to the whole first community. The Woody Flowers Award celebrates outstanding communication in the art and science of engineering and design. It was created by Dr. William Murphy in 1996, seeking to recognize one mentor who, in the concisely communicated written words of students, demonstrates the leadership, ethical behavior, and technical communication skills that were exemplified by Woody. And for our winner, at each at each regional and district championship event, one mentor will receive the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. Then, one mentor will be selected from this renominated class finalist to receive the 2022 Championship Woody Flowers Award. Here at the Indiana or First Indiana State Championships, your essays shared high praise for the accomplishments and dedication of your mentors to your teams. Based on your input, we now recognize the contribution of one mentor to the first experience. This firster of 17 years was a student on a high school first team, just like many of you. In Indiana, her efforts keep FIRST Robotics program functional as an FTA and board member. She is looked up to because of her kind demeanor, passion, unique problem solving skills, and gracious professionalism. Please join us in congratulating the 2022 Indiana State Championship Woody Flowers Finalist Award winner, Liz Smith. Team 
That does it for our program today. Let's hear it once more for Liz Smith, the Woody Flowers finalist award winner. Remember, we have another full day of matches tomorrow. Opening ceremonies start at 9 a.m. The pits close at 8 tonight, which I think is pretty soon. I had a great time. Look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Take care. Drive safe.